Hello guys and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create a glitch effect that you can use on your logo or any text element. But before that, I need to talk about something really important to me. So if you are not interested in supporting the channel and listening to me for about two minutes, you can skip to this exact time right here. As you already know, my videos are all about quality. I try my best to make every single tutorial I create as understandable and interesting as possible. Sometimes I work up to 8 hours on one video just to make it perfect. I know perfection is hardly achievable, but I will never stop trying to reach it. The reason why I created my Patreon page is because I need your help. The Letters B is not just a YouTube channel, it's a brand and a community platform I want to share with you. My dream is to become independent and work full time on YouTube. I want to create even more amazing videos for you guys. I want to start Q&A live streams as well as work on bigger projects with behind the scenes and longer editing sessions that will improve your understanding for aesthetics and teach you even more how to become a professional editor without the struggle of watching confusing and boring tutorials and other platforms. But everything comes with a price, the videos are very time consuming and with me currently not making any money out of it, I'm not able to make this a full time job. Of course I could continue my regular 9 to 5 job and produce these videos occasionally, but that's not who I am. I'm a creative person that wants to share his love and passion for video editing with the world. I want to stop having the struggle of getting hardly by each month with my current salary and not be able to support my family properly. It's only only me, my brother, my little sister and my mother and I want to be able to help them and improve our life with the job I truly desire. And this is where Patreon comes into play. I worked really hard to create an awesome Patreon page with some really great rewards for those who decide to support me. These rewards include stuff like invites to my Discord community server where you can ask all your unanswered questions, your name featured on a thank you list on every of my videos, as well as private lessons, sound effects, presets and other amazing editing tools that will be exclusive only to my patrons. So if you really enjoy my content and appreciate the hard work I put into these videos, please make my dream come true and become my patron. The link to my Patreon page can be found in the video description. To start off the tutorial we are going to create three video tracks and import our logo into Sony Vegas. The original logo should be located at the lowest video track. Then copy the logo once and place it above the original one. Now we're going to move on to the media generators tab, select all and choose the preset SMPTE bars NTSC located under the effect called test pattern. Close the effect window and adjust the size of the SMPTE bars to the same size of your logo. After that, open up the video fix tab and search for the effect called TV Simulator. Pick up the reset to non preset and drag it onto the SMPTE bars. Now adjust the line synths as well as the vertical synths to your satisfaction. I chose to go with around 850 on the line synths and 350 on the vertical synths. Then close the window and search for the effect called Pixelate in your video VideoFX tab. Pick up the default preset and drag it onto the SMPTE bars. Adjust the horizontal pixelization as well as the vertical as you desire. I'm going for 850 on both of these sliders. After that we're going to change the compositing mode of the video track including the SMPTE bars to custom, select the Sony displacement map preset and hit OK. Here you can adjust the amount of glitch effect being used on the logo. Simply play around the horizontal and vertical sliders and change the edge pixel handling to wrap pixels around. 
To finish off the effect we're gonna go to File, Select Properties and change the option Stereoscopic 3D Mode to Anaglyphic Red Cheyenne. Hit Apply and OK and go back to your video of Xtab and search for the effect called Stereoscopic 3D Adjust. Choose the standard preset and drag it onto your logo copy. Last but not least, adjust the horizontal offset to about 50 and you are good to go. At the end, I have a last little tip for you. You can adjust the size of the SMPTE bars to let the effect last longer or cut it so it will only appear once or twice in your intro sequence. This also counts for the 3D effect added to the logo copy. Just make sure that both elements, the SMPTE bars, as well as the logo copy have the exact same length so both effects can work simultaneously. Also, play with the pan and crop of the logo copy and set some random keyframes to give the 3D effect some extra motion. And this is it! I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Any kind of form of support gives you new motivation to create even more amazing videos for you guys.